Hello my turtlings and welcome to a video on weekly news. This is for the second week. Um, so let's begin. This topic is going to be about games, new releases that are coming out that I enjoy and I'm quite intrigued to see what is coming up in uh, the future, or not the future, in 2014. Haven't mentioned that is in 2015, just because um, you haven't got a lot to wait before they come out. Quick video about this uh, to tell you what games I like, how I think about them. So let's begin. Okay, the first game on our list is Assassin's Creed Unity. This game comes out on October the 28th, 2014. So very, very recently when this video comes out, only like little over 10 days so it's quite exciting to do this i want to buy it definitely it's gonna come out um on playstation 4 xbox one and pc i can't wait for that because i'm gonna get it on pc and just bang out play it just play 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 it's very unique it's got multiplayer so four people if you have four people with the game or your friends you can all link up team tactics and everything that hasn't been happened. That hasn't happened in any of the Assassin's Creed games. So that's one of the functions I'm definitely going to get it for, so I can play with all my mates all at one time, taking up people together, and not have to just play on your own because that's a bit boring playing on your own occasionally. Having friends makes it a lot better. It's made by Ubisoft. Uh, it is about the French Revolution. That's what I quite like because it's quite cool. Like the trailer is really nice. Um, really nice cinematic views on that so that'll be in the link description link in the description if you want to check it out uh, let's, move on to, let's keep going on this subject um, the trailer shows I haven't seen gameplay yet but the trailer shows uh, lots of people working together there's some really cool gadgets in this such as the hidden blade it's a bit weird it's like a crossbow on your um, back of your wrist it's really cool so you see in the video here on the screen uh, shoots a dude and he's dead of course but it's really cool because he was on top of a building just took him out and I find that that's quite a cool gadget and could be used to have a lot of fun with um, the co-op is very nice looks very very nice I keep saying about the co-op because it is one of the best functions in my opinion about this game so if you want to check this out, I put a couple of links in the description for it. I put one to Origin, um, the trailer that you're going to see before it, and uh, anything else I can find about it. Um, so let's move on to the next game. The next game on our list is Battlefield Hardline. I have been waiting for this to come out for a while. It was delayed. It was coming out in October, but the... Um, this is actually coming out in 2015, not 2014 that it was going to come out. So they have delayed it to go to 2014, not 2004. No, 2015, not 2014. So that's a bit annoying, but that means that they're adding more content, making it look nice, not going to get any bugs and keeping it nice. Not not what happened to um, Battlefield 4, because that was a bit of a disappointing a disappointment. It um, came out too early and there was lots of bugs and shooting behind corners even though no, the person, even though you were getting cover and yeah, crazy sh um, shit like that. So uh, if you want to check out, I'm not going to say everything about this because I don't know everything for final. If you want to check out my review on it, uh, there'll be an annotation on the screen now. Uh, click on that. There'll also be a link in the description for you people on iPads that can't get links. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next game. The next game on my list is Borderlands the pre-sequel. I can't wait for this. There's so many cool things about this. They've based it, like, they've got, they're based on the um, Borderlands 2, like, all the graphics and stuff, obviously. Made more map, and maybe may improve the graphics a little bit more, but they've kept, like, the base design. So if you're coming from Borderlands 2 to... Borderlands, the pre sequel, is quite. You're not going to feel out of place. So that's quite nice. The characters in it is Natasha, something like that. Uh, 
she's the law breaker and we got Athens the gladiator Wilhelm the enforcer he was in Borderlands 2 as well so he was one of the characters in that we also got Claptrap Clap Trap. Clap Trap is really cool. He was someone that followed you around in the beginning in the whole of the um, Borderlands 2. So he's quite cool. He's, at, he's an actual character in that. Um, I have nothing bad about this game. It seems quite nice. It is coming out and it will be released in 2014. Very soon in this year. So wait. I'll see if I can um, put the dates in the description for that. But I don't know it at the moment. Uh, it's coming out on Xbox 360, PS3, um, so that's quite a good um, variety. It's not coming out on next gen because graphics probably isn't the best on it, but I can't wait. It's called the pre-sequel because um, it's in between the... It's, it's a bit weird. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to like them talking about it and stuff as well. So let's move on to the next game. The last game on my list is Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, the graphics look quite nice on this. It's not like your average kind of Assassin's Creed game where you're working with the assassins or you're an assassin, you're fighting for assassin rights and stuff. You go against it, hence the name Rogue. Uh, so you're against the assassin and you have your own cause and you're going for it yourself. I don't know his actual cause, I don't think it tells you, but um, the link in the description for the game will be, all of them will be in the description by the way. So this comes out in November the 11th, uh, 2014 on Xbox and PS3. I don't know if it's going to come out on um, uh, the PC, but I will check that and if you really want to know, leave a link in the description and I'll get back to you. Um, I like the new assassin kind of style they've gone for. It's a bit different. Uh, it's quite nice. There's some cool new gadgets, but not as cool as the um, Assassin's Creed Unity as it shows you in the trailer. So I quite like it that you're going against the assassins, but I prefer to be with them. That's just my style. I played the game for quite a while. It was like, oh, Brotherhood was my favourite. That was the old one of the old ones, so that was one of my favourite there. So I've played that, I've experienced it. My opinion, I quite like to go with the Assassins, but it's totally your opinion on this. Um, only one thing is, because I'm not sure about this, this is just a guess. Because you're going up against Assassins, I think there's going to be a couple of boss fights. I'm not sure, because if you're going Assassin, be an Assassin, that's going Rogue. It's going to be a bit different. It's going to be quite hard. So that might be a little annoying bit in the game. I'm not sure. This is just me making this up. So um, yeah. That being my games. Of um, all of these. Of the new releases that I quite like coming up. If you want to see any more. Uh, put your, tell me what you think in the description. I will get back to you. I will say. Maybe do a second video part 2 on this. So. Uh, I hope you like the video guys and thank you for watching weekly news and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.